Well, I was going to shoot this video here to let you know what I've been working on lately. And this ain't nothing but two of the little cores that I've bought, hunted forever for them. But But uh, they got a permeability of about uh, 70,000, I think. But anyway, that's my little output transformer that I rigged up. This little nine volt battery here, it ain't got nine volts in it, but it'll it'll do enough to show you what what I'm working on. Now let's go ahead and put the power on it. One good thing about these cores is you can't hear them humming. The noise was a big problem with me. But uh let's see if I can Yeah, that battery's kinda low, but usually with a good nine volt battery you'd see about 160.7 volts it uh... don't really ever vary too much, it stays right on it, but that battery's getting kinda low this little circuit here is similar to a Jewel Thief I'm just using it for that little output transformer it draws about, about 60 milliamps but I don't have any induction coils hooked in here right yet. I just threw this together to shoot a video. Usually I'd have like a couple of coils like this. These are all bifolar around through here and then got some wires in there. But uh, that's that's usually for the the feedback in your, uh, your output voltage. But um, I might do another video with it with two like iron core transformers. That way you can hear them really humming real good but uh... they they just kind of feed each other this one pulses that one and that one pulses this one but uh... i can build a lot better output transformer to feed these a lot better especially off nine volts i can get that down to about twenty milliamps and then if i'm using this i can uh... use some feedback off of it and i can get it down to about five hundred microamps but uh... Yeah, you'll this voltage here is is just in the capacitors switching back and forth into the uh, the two little toroids. But usually, what you'll see on the output is probably about 130, sometimes 140 volts. But that's about it. You can also get a little better output by you're not using a bridge rectifier, which I have underneath here. You can just use some a couple good diodes because there's there's about 1500 volts going in just off of that. I mean, you know, there's no current. But I had to get me some some wood on this metal table because I was getting tired of getting shocked. Been shocked very bad. But um but this is this is kinda like a jewel thief except I've got a few extra components in it and to lower the the draw on the battery. But that's just a little little cheap battery that was in a multimeter and it was about dead. But um Maybe next time I'll show one put together and have two of these inside of the uh, the unit. You you really don't even need these if you want to put like iron or something better inside of uh, your uh, little induction coils. You can actually just put like a third winding on here. But um, after it runs for a while, these these kind of get pretty warm. And if you put iron in this, it kind of really gets warm. But um, that's about all for now. I'll uh, I'll shoot some videos later of this, but I got some other stuff I'm probably going to do first. I've been working on this since like uh, December of 2009, and uh, these here you, you don't ever want to ever try to touch them when they're running. They'll uh, burn the tip of your finger. But uh, that's it for now. I'll see you later.